Oh, well, thank you very much. Now, like we were saying earlier, we do need one of you kids to come and help. Have we got any kids that would like to help tonight? Put your hands up. Oh, thank you very much. Well, we do need somebody sitting really, really smart with the legs crossed and their arms folded, not shouting, me, 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 me. And it's very smart. Cheers, guys, thank you. That's a bit too smart. Maybe one arm in the air. One arm. One leg in the air. Both arms in the air. Mums and dads offer prizes, they will do anything, trust me, they really will. Both legs in the air. And one finger stuck right up your nose. Oh no, take your fingers out your nose, sit back down, sit back down, sit back down. Honestly, it's that easy, just offer the prizes, they really will do absolutely anything you tell them. We will go for, we'll go for the young man in the blue t-shirt in the middle just there. Blue t-shirt. Do you want to come and help? Yep, yeah, step this way. Round of applause for this young man. We've got some steps at this side. We just head right over this way. That's it, no need to hurry, just be quick. And step this way. Round of applause for this young man. We'll find out who we've got here. What's your name? Lexi. It's what? Reggie. And how old are you, Reggie? Four. Four. Well, I didn't think he was going to be that young. We've never done this with a four-year-old before. Let's see how this goes. Right. Where are you from, Reggie? Uh, where's that? You don't know. We don't care, do we? We don't care. Reggie, have you ever done any magic before? No, neither have I. This is my first night. We're just going to make it up as we go along. Is that all right? Yeah. Reggie's thinking, I'm here for the prizes, mate. You do whatever you need to do. Reggie, over here, we've got three paper bags. Inside of each paper bag is a block of wood. There's a block of wood in every single bag. However, Reggie, there isn't just three bags. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a fourth bag. You see, that's your cue to move, right? Ladies and gentlemen, there's a fourth bag. That's better. Reggie, is there anything inside? You might look check, Reggie. Is there anything inside the fourth bag? No, there isn't. It's completely empty. There's also a fourth block of wood. The difference with this block of wood is going to be this. The solid, sharp, shiny, seven inch nail. Very solid, very real, very sharp. Reggie, can you take a little step backwards for me? One more. Excellent. And then put one hand high in the air like this. A little bit higher. Higher than that. A bit more. Perfect. I'm going to put the nail here. Reggie, on the count of three, I want you to slam your hand on that nail as hard as you can. Okay? Reggie just looked at the nail and went, okay. <laughs> Reggie, don't do that. It's a crazy idea. Just give it a very gentle tap like this. Not from up there. You can put that hand down now if you want. Is that pretty sharp? Yeah. Yeah. If you had have done that really, really hard, would it have hurt? Yeah. Yeah, it would. We take the nail, we place it through the block. And then the nail and the block go into bag number four. So at this point, Reggie, we've got three completely safe bags with just a block of wood. We've got one with a solid shaft of shiny steel inside. Reggie, take a step to the front just here for me. Just there. Perfect. Now, at the minute, we all know where he's only four. He's quite young for this, isn't he, really? 
At the minute we all know where the nil is, we've just put it in the bag. If we give the bags a mix up like this, it's quite easy to follow where the nail goes. Like this. Reggie, did you follow the nail? Do you know where it is? No. You've lost it already. Don't worry, doesn't matter. I'm sure many people here was able to follow the nail. So we're going to mix the bags up again. But this time, we're going to cover them up for a second, like this, and keep on mixing. So if you did know where that bag was, if you did follow its position, you are now going to lose track of that bag. You will not know where it is. Thanks, Manny. Like this. Now, Reggie, you didn't know where it was before, so you definitely don't know where it is now, do you? No. No. No one here for sure knows where it is. I know exactly where it is. Reggie, come around the back with me. Because I do know where it is, I'm going to turn away and not look. While I'm not looking, I want you to mix those bags. Okay, now, a couple of things. Not yet, Reggie, I've not turned away yet. Not yet. Good enthusiasm, though, I like it. Couple of things, Reggie. No peeking inside the bags to see where the nail is, because that's cheating, but we're not going to cheat. The other thing, because one has got a very sharp nail inside, just grab the very tops like this and be extremely careful. Okay, we'll move them a little bit closer to you because you're quite small. Now, if you can't reach the top of the bags and you lean on the table and it starts rolling forward like this, Maddie's just there and she'll come on and help you. Otherwise, everything falls off the front. We learned that from experience. Do you think you can do that for me, Reggie? Yeah. Good, do that right now. Mix those bags, Reggie. Mix those bags as much or as little as you like. When you're happy and you've done that, let me know. Otherwise, I keep facing the wrong way. Speaking to these other people about a lot of nonsense and make them go along with you and Reggie would be a little bit quick with the bags. Kid last night down at Butlins took about 20 minutes. He, he just won't stop. We left, he was still going. He might still be doing it now, I'm not sure. How are you getting on, Reggie? Is he still going? He's still mixing. Okay. Whenever you're ready, Reggie, you just let me know and we'll carry on. Has he stopped now? Can I turn around? Okay. Perfect. Reggie, step back to the front just here. So now, Reggie, you don't know where the nail is. No. And they don't know where the nail is. No. And I don't know where the nail is. No. Nobody knows where the nail is. No, nobody knows. We're going to quickly put some numbers on the bags, like this. Now, Reggie, tonight you don't just get to help with the magic, you get to control the magic. Sit down for me, boys. Sit down, sit down. You get to control everything that happens. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yes. Reggie, it's quite simple. Step this way for me. Reggie, all I need you to do is pick a bag. One, two, three, or four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, Reggie, we've got a two-hour drive after this. So, what no, what number would you like? Done. Four. This one on the end. Yeah. Would you like to change your mind? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was quick. Step this way, Reggie. What do you want to change your mind to? Uh, three. Three. Yeah. The one next to it. Yeah. Do you want to change your mind again? No. No, you're sticking with bag number three. It's sticking with bag number three. Just step this way, Reggie. You, Reggie, imagine this super glue on your shoes and you can't move, all right? It's a fun game. Now, <laughs> bag number three. At this point, some people might have skipped ahead and guessed what's about to happen. Reggie, do you know what's about to happen? No. No, let me show you. Reggie, I hope for my sake you've got this right. Last chance, Reggie. Do you want to change your mind? No. It's only bag number three. Give Reggie a round of applause. Reggie, it's a good start. But the odds was in your favour. There is only one nail. So the game continues.
I say again, kids, do not go home and play the game, all right? It's a terrible, terrible game. Do not go home and try and do this. Reggie, would you like one, two, or four? Uh, two. It's one. Yeah. Number four. Yeah. Do you want to change your mind? No. You're going to stick with bag number four? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Do you want to phone a friend, ask the audience? No. Forget that bit. Bag number four. Reggie, are you happy with this bag? Yes. I'll tell you if I am in just a second. Bag four. It's only bag four. Give Reggie a round of applause. Reggie, this is going well. We're down to just two bags. It becomes a 50-50 chance. Reggie, would you like back one or back two? Yeah. Two. Would you like to change your mind? Yeah. You do want to. You do want to change your mind. No. You don't want to change your mind. You're sticking with back number two. Yeah. You're sticking with back number two. Now, Reggie, if you get this right, the audience, all of them, will scream. They'll go wild. Just for you, Reggie. However, if you get this wrong, I'll scream and go wild. Are you sticking with bag number two? Do you want to change your mind to bag number one? Number two? Okay. Reggie, are you confident about this? 100%. Yeah, good, you do it then. Don't do it. It's just a joke, Reggie, don't do it. We're not insured for that. Bag, bag number two. Remember, if Reggie gets this right, huge round of applause for Reggie. If he gets this wrong, somebody call an ambulance because it's really, really not part of it. All right. Bag number two. Last chance. Do you want to change your mind? You're sticking with bag number two. Putting a lot of trust in a four-year-old I've just met. Are you sticking with it, Reggie? It's not in bag number two. Give Reggie a round of applause. Reggie, that could mean one thing and one thing only. The one bag that you didn't pick. The one bag that you kept well clear of is in fact the one that's got a solid, sharp, shiny, Seven inch nail, give Reggie a round of applause. Reggie, you've done an absolutely fantastic job. Would you like a prize? Yeah. Shall we give him a prize? Yeah. Of course we will. Now, Reggie, tonight we haven't just got one prize. We've got a whole range of prizes. Tonight, Reggie, your prize is one of these. Do you know what that is? No. I'll show you what it is. This Reggie is a magic wand. Now it doesn't look anything like a magic wand, does it? Yeah. <laughs> did you mean? Did you mean no? Did you mean no? I think you meant no. We'll go with no. It works better for the show. Reggie, this is a very special magic wand. You hide it in your hand like this. Keep it a secret. Don't tell anybody there. Then when you're ready, Reggie, you throw it in the air, like this. Turn, drop it on the floor. That's an, that's an important part of it. And it turns into an appearing magic wand just like that. Now, Reggie, you can use this over and over again. As many times you like. Who brought you here tonight, Reggie? Who are you with? With my mum. With your mum. And where's mum? Give us a wave, mum. I think she's gone, Reggie. Oh, right at the back there. Perfect. Mum, you might want to watch this next bit quite closely. You're going to be doing it quite a bit. All right, to reset the one, this is what you do. You pull the ends apart like this. You fold the end over and you roll it up. And you keep rolling all the way to the other end. But Reggie, you don't have to do this bit. Because Mum is going to do this bit for you. All right? And as soon as Mum 
has finished rolling it up, you take it off her and immediately throw it in the air again. And then mum's got to roll it up again. Right, it's going to really, really annoy her. And you've got to do that every five seconds for the next week. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Yeah, good. I bet he does as well. Sorry, mum. We've got the rope trick. Have you seen the rope trick before? No. I'll show you. It's a good trick. You hold this end of the rope here, like this. You hold this end of the rope here, like this. You let go of this end of the rope, and the rope will stay exactly where it is, like this. Other end. You let go of this end of the rope, and the rope will stay. Like... Reggie, it's not working. Which is a shame because when it does work, the audience got absolutely wild. They really do. Reggie, you can hold it at this end like this. You can hold it at this end like this. You can hold it in the middle, spin it all the way around whenever you want. Your snappy fingers. It goes back to how it was just a second ago. Reggie, do you know how that's done? No. No, don't worry. You'll learn how to do it. We've got one final trick to show. Owen, can we take the lights right down for this one, please? Perfect. Now, put your hands by your sides. Keep really, really still. Whatever you do, don't move, okay? Keep still, Reggie. Don't move. And you get a little red light in your ears. How many red lights have you got in your ears? If you don't know, there might be hundreds in there. You can do all sorts with this little red light. You can put it in one ear and it comes out the other. You can sniff it up your nose. And it comes out your mouth. Reggie, this is the best bit. You take it to school, you show your teacher. Do you go to school yet? Are you old enough for school? Yeah. Yeah. What's your teacher called? Um... Have you forgotten? <laughs> yeah, he's forgotten. Is it is it a lady or a man? A lady. A lady. Okay, so you go back to school, you kick the door open, and you say, Miss, I've got you a trick. You get the red light, you eat it, like this. <clears throat> Give me a second, Reggie. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not proud of this, Reggie. <clears throat> it's absolutely disgusting, isn't it? And if you go back to school and show your teacher that, do you know what happens? I'll tell you. You get another week off. You do. It worked for me, it'll work for you as well. We can pop those lights back up now, thank you. But you are going to get in trouble. You're definitely going to get in trouble. So when your teacher says, Reggie, who taught you that trick? You say, Mum. Not James Long the Magician. Mum. Reggie, who taught you that trick? Mum. Mum, good, quick learner. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> Maybe avoid next parents even and stay at home instead reggie if you've got the tricks of course you need to know how they are done we've got you a full set of instructions that teach you everything you need to know mum's going to read these aren't you you've got you've got a very very busy week coming up make sure you go through the instructions before you try them out if you don't you might break them and we don't want that so mum read those first reggie we've got you a full set of those. The instructions are in there, the red light is in there, the wand is in there, the rope is in there. These are all for you. You've been absolutely fantastic. Face the front. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Reggie. Take a bow, Reggie. All right, don't take a bow. Once again, Reggie, ladies and gentlemen. Watch this step as you make me off there. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks, Reggie. That was an awkward pickup, wasn't it? Yeah. Didn't think that one through already carrying one child, to be honest. Now, quite a few kids in tonight, and unfortunately, kids, we haven't got time to pick you all. But kids, put your hand up if you'd like all those tricks that Reggie just got. Put your hand up, who'd like them? Everyone on the floor, some little, some at the back, some are grown-ups as well. Put your hands down, put your hands down, put your hands down. Just sit right down for me. 